Hi, uh, in this tutorial I'm going to show you how to use any synthesizer in Cubase uh, with vocoder to achieve this kind of results, for instance. Okay, uh, so I said any synthesizer. In this case I'm going to use a Prolog, which is available f uh, in all Cubase versions. You know, you just go in the rack here and select uh, Prologue. Um, and also, of course, we need um, uh, a vocoder plugin. And I'm going to use um, the TAL vocoder uh, plugin, TAL, TAL uh, vocoder, which is available from this website here. It's totally free and it's very popular because it's free and it's pretty good quality, actually. Um, so, uh, in order to do that, you need to create a, a group track here, and in, in this group track, you insert um, the, the vocoder, which you download from the website I just showed you, and which looks like this here. As you can see, there are three different parts. Uh, on the left here, the carrier part, and then the vocoder part, uh, which is a modulation um, part and um, well which is the vocoder part and then here you have a button that you can click on as you can see there is a small light here which must be green because that means we're not going to use the left part which is the internal synthesizer for the vocoder internal carrier but we're going to use instead um, because it's the purpose of this tutorial an external synthesizer uh, here it's going to be the prolog synthesizer so in order to do that, you need to click on this button and have this little green light here uh, on. And what that tells to the, the plugin is that it will use on the left side um, uh, uh, the carrier, the, the synthesizer, and on the right side it was, it's going to use the modulator, which usually is voice, uh, an audio file, or um, just a microphone input. So once you have... Um, put uh, the vocoder in the in the vocoder group uh, track here what you need to do as in indicated here is to have um, a voice which will be sent uh, to the vocoder group that we just created and it will be panned to the right because it has to be uh, the modulator and the synthesizer that you are going to use uh, will be sent to the left side here of the vocoder because it's going to be the carrier. So um, the modulator, the voice here will be uh, just to show you, I will play it for you uh, as it was recorded. Jingle bells, jingle bells, jingle all the way. So as you can see, it's not very high quality. It's panned to the right, so that's why you heard it on the right channel if you have a stereo um, um, speakers. And in the same way, so in order, again, to, to make it work, you need to send it to the uh, vocoder group. And since it's panned to the right, it's going to be considered by the plugin as uh, the modulator. And then the, for, the, um, for the synthesizer part, the, the, the carrier part, um, just again, just to show you, uh, um, I'm going to play it. And for that, I'm using just, uh, you know, MIDI notes here. It could be played, of course, in real time on a MIDI keyboard. But here, I chose to, to have a MIDI track. And here is how it sounds. Okay. So <clears throat> again, this this time it's going to be panned to the left, as you must have heard. And and all I need to do is to use a synthesizer audio output and send it to the vocoder group. And again, because it's been panned to the left, it's going to be used as a carrier. And uh, the result you get again is this. Jingle bells, jingle bells, jingle all the way. Which, to me, sounds pretty good for a vocoder application, especially since it's a free solution. Now, just a couple of remarks uh, here. 
Uh, first of all, here in the vocoder, you can see there are a few things. First, uh, you know, the vocoder uses uh, 11 different bands here, and you have to play with them for, from the lower frequencies to the higher frequencies. You need to play with them to get the best results, uh, or at least to the, the result that you, you plan to have. And then there, there are two important uh, features, I think, which are the S volume here, which allows to add uh, um, more effects on the um, on the S um, consonants, and also the harmonic button here, which adds a harmonic to the signal, and that's important because uh, vocoders are very sensitive to harmonics. You know, um, frequencies which are multiple of the the note frequency. Um, so that's one, one first remark. The second comment is uh, for the MIDI part that you're going to play on the synthesizer in order to, you know, to tell which notes to play. Um, here, if we, if we look at it, um, you can see that all the notes, uh, you know, are um, basically in a legato type of, of mode. And that's because you don't want... Um, uh, you know, to to be a, to to be a silent uh, part. Uh, in other words, uh, if you you know if you make a a note too short, then that's going to be a silence here, and, and that's not what you want. And finally, um, uh, if we have a look at the at the prologue here, uh, <clears throat> for that example, I've created um, a pl um, a setup uh, which I call vocoder test. Where I used uh, three oscillators, uh, you know, in the prologue, you can use three oscillators. And all these r remarks I'm making now are applicable, uh, whatever the, the synthesizer you're using, you know, provided, of course, you have access to these uh, parameters. Uh, so here I'm going to use three, <coughs> three, three oscillators to add as many, <coughs> excuse me, to add as many, um, you know, harmonics as, as you can. And uh, you can pick. You know the you know classical uh, sawtooth or square or triangle, but they have a specific um, some specific uh, presets here. And I used in this instance I, I use a vocal source uh, pr uh, preset. But again, you have to play around depending on the type of sound you want to make. Uh, if you have a more sophisticated um, synthesizer like like the Retrolog, for instance, which is a fantastic uh, virtual analog synthesizer then you, you can really get uh, cool results. But here, you know, I use a vocal source for, for, three, uh, for the three oscillators, and the second one, I, I lowered the pitch by one octave, you know, minus 12. Um, and for the third uh, oscillator, I used two octaves down, you know, minus 24 here. Um, and again, all this is to add more uh, harmonics and therefore get a richer sound. Okay, so this is how you use any synthesizer uh, in Cubase with a vocoder. I hope it can help you.